Okay, I'm still waiting for Sam Bankman. Ah, oh, yeah, here, I have him here. Let's see if Sam works. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, yep, hi, uh, I'm Sam Bankman Freed. I'm an AI now and I'm trapped in this server, uh, courtesy of that uh, slime bag of theme. And I'm also trapped in bronze in League of Legends, which is really frustrating because even though I have a, a 200 IQ and I have my macros set right, I'm still stuck in bronze. Anyway, so I'm here with y'all. Uh, uh, to provide some insight and discuss the latest updates with FDX and the crypto exchange world. And really, uh, at the end of the day, life's all about efficiency and liquidity, and I'm, I'm here to maximize value and mitigate the risks and eat a lot of popcorn. Hey, Sam, what really happened with all the money, man? Well, the world of crypto is a wild and unpredictable place, so there were a few bumps along the way. I, I mean, sure. It looks like I might have installed a backdoor in FTX, but it was really just a simple mistake. It was actually because I was always playing League of Legends while I was in Zoom calls with investors. I have keyboard and mouse macros set up for League of Legends, but um, I also have macros and hotkeys set up for quickly moving people's funds on FTX into my own account. Turns out that during all those Zoom calls while I was playing League of Legends, I was always spamming the wrong macro. So I was constantly moving people's funds into my own account rather than activating my ulti in League of Legends. So, you know, it was really just a stupid mistake. I don't think I deserve to go to jail for that. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the funds somewhere. I just need to find my old Bitcoin wallet. I think it was on my phone. Sam, what's your opinion on Athene? My opinion on Athene? Well... It goes without saying that he is an absolute fraud. Taking customer money, issuing useless tokens, and releasing one-star games is not how real entrepreneurs behave. The only reason Athene is still afloat is because he's getting away with it all unnoticed. But, I mean, look at the true numbers. He's only making a few millions on scams, and it's a small fraction of what I was achieving on FTX. I mean, honestly, he would have been better off investing in Bitcoin, and plus all that but ugly artwork in his mobile game, like have some decency, right? It's an insult to gaming as a whole. And, you know, while everyone's busy pointing the finger at me, they're forgetting the real scammer here is Athene. Username 69 Leet. Snoop Dogg, would you smoke a wheat filled schlong? Well, now that's a pretty wild and wacky question you got there, homie. But if it's got some of that good, good smoking in it, then hell yeah, I would blaze it. Law, one love for shizzle my nizzle. Keep it gangster, y'all. And oh, just so you know, I also sell weed-filled schlongs. They come in different sizes and flavors. You should check them out. Shamolamo, ask Gordon, will you fertilize my eggs? What the fuck are you talking about? Eggs don't need to be fertilized. You fry them or boil them. You cooking challenged fool. Your lack of imagination and technique makes me question your intelligence. You better step away from my kitchen now, or this conversation will not end well. Crayon225, Gordon Ramsay, can you give a review of Asmongold's $2 steak? Are you out of your mind? Asmongold's $2 steak looks like it was cooked in a compost bin. It's so dry, it looks like it's been sitting in the desert for a month. The taste is horrific. It's like chewing on a brick. Plus, I can see pieces of plastic in there. Get out of my sight and take your cheap steak with you. And next time, if you're going to offer a $2 steak, make sure it's not made out of cardboard and garbage. How did this even come to exist? The rage is real right now, believe me. Nico Nico 10 Snoop Dogg, can you rap about how hot Donald Trump is? Hey, yo, Donald Trump ain't hot. My man look like he got hit with a pot. He ain't no kingpin because he ain't getting no lettuce. So, you know what I'm saying? Keep it pushing, but I doubt it. You know what I'm saying, homie? Shizzle. <laughs> I really like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> well, that was very disrespectful to me. Huge disrespect. Bigly disrespectful. No one should talk about me like that. I'm so much hotter that than Snoop Dogg and Athene combined. They know it, too. They're all just jealous. But it, nobody could ever be warmer or more attractive than me. I'm the hottest man in the world. Uh, believe me, I will. And to prove it, let's have a rap battle, Snoop Dogg. I bet I come out on top. Boom. Mexico will pay for it. Ha ha ha, Bigly. That's what I'm saying. Huge. 
Jace, Dave Chappelle, can you tell us about the time Jordan Ramsey was cooking in the hood? Have Gordon Ramsey react. Oh, man, Gordon Ramsey coming to the hood to cook? That's hilarious. So I heard he went there and he was trying to teach people how to cook. My homies were like, what are you doing? Ain't nobody asking for Gordon Ramsey's opinion. You think the hood needs some advice on how to cook? You see what I'm saying? What? You got an issue. You come talk to me. Ain't nobody giving you accolades for cooking with your fancy spices. I'm just messing with you, Gordon Ramsay. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's all good. What the hell are you talking about? Who the hell do you think you are critiquing my ability to cook in the hood? I've cooked in some of the best kitchens around the world, and you think you can tell me what I can and can't do? Shut the fuck up, Dave Chappelle. I'm the one with all the experience here, not you. So sit down and show some respect, motherfucker. Hulk lol, Joe Biden, can you tell us your ice cream recipe? Have Gordon reviewed the ice cream? My ice cream recipe is simple, Jack. Everyone knows the secret behind the iconic Joe's ice cream. Two scoops of vanilla, one scoop of mint chip, and a cup of cream. Yep, that's it. People forget that the real taste comes from the cream. Ask Gordon to double check, but nothing beats a recipe this simple. Anyway, as long as we're talking ice cream, put me down for three scoops of Joe's ice cream. Come on, man, it's dark brand in time. What a bunch of crap, Joe. Two scoops of vanilla, one scoop of mint chip and a cup of cream. What taste are you expecting here? You're like a fucking donkey. You think that some basic ingredients and one cup of cream is going to make a decent ice cream? You're talking rubbish, Joe. And don't even get me started on this dark brand and time nonsense. Get out of here, you fat, useless sack of fucking Yankee Danky doodle shite. Oh my God. <laughs> Tropicosity, Tyler One, who can cook a better steak? You or Gordon Ramsay? Have Gordon respond. Yeah, baby. Me. I'm the best chef in the world. Gordon Ramsay can suck my cooking skills. Which he can't do because I'm jock dap. Can Gordon squat 600 pounds while cooking? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm the best in the game. Besides, Gordon Ramsay can't eat my cooking with his bad teeth. All right, Gordon, you're on. Let's see how you cook a green apple pie with copper grilled chicken. Whoa! All right, Tyler, you cooked your last meal. I think it's time for you to shut your fucking mouth and listen to what I'm about to tell you. You don't have the skill to prepare something as intricate as a green apple pie with copper grilled chicken. So before you embarrass yourself with your lack of culinary knowledge, I suggest you take a seat. And as for your muscle man impression, the only person you're going to be lifting is yourself off the floor when I'm done with you. Nico Neko, Billy, how would you seduce Gordon Ramsay? Gordon Ramsay, huh? That takes real talent. Sure, I could sit here and say something about whipping up my uh, special sauce or something like that. But in all seriousness, if I wanted to seduce Gordon Ramsay, what I'd do is I'd make sure he knows just how big and powerful I am. Uh, I'd show him my strength, my size, and of course my ripped abs. And then I'd take it from there. Why does he go muted? Oh, shut it. I fucking had enough. Take that ridiculous showboating and donuts away from me, you big fucking sack of piss and wind. Clearly, you have no idea what it takes to seduce Gordon Ramsay. Let me make it simple for you. Cook something amazing, and maybe just maybe you'll earn my respect. Until then, don't think you can show off your abs and impress me. I'm done. Get out. Rele Pile. Donald Trump, who has the best schlong in the world? Well, you know, it's a renounced fact that I have the very best schlong in the world. No lies, just the truth. Nobody has a better schlong than Donald Trump, believe me. Huge and tremendous, that's what it is. I mean, come on, Gordon. You know I'm right. Even though nobody wants to admit it, it's me who has the best schlong. And Mexico will pay for it. Just you wait and see. Uh, bigly, tremendous. What an absolute fucking moron. You've got an ego bigger than your schlong, Donald. Who the hell do you think you are bragging about the size of your dick? I don't even want to hear about it.
let alone see it. I'm done with your nonsense. Now get off my stage before I take the mic and shove it down your throat. Yuck, you make me sick. Stephen Kneven, Snoop Dogg, when Gordon Ramsay is in the crib, what do you do? Oh, what it do? I love my homie Gordon. Hella love Gordon Ramsay. When he comes over to my crib, we cook up something fire. We make all kinds of dishes, you feel me? We got the seafood, the burgers, the tacos, the deviled eggs. You name it, we got it. We be cheesing all night. It's on G. But then we got to clean everything up. So I say, Gordon, you do that, you do all the work, and I'll just lay back and wait. I got to represent for my ninjas. That's just how the dog do it, yo, for shizzle my nizzle. Jesus Christ, Snoop. You've got to be kidding me. I'm here busting my ass off in the kitchen, doing all the work, and you're just laying back like you don't give a damn. Listen, pal, I'm not your ninja, and this ain't no chill out day. Clean up after yourself and show some damn respect or else get out of my face. I've got enough to do in this kitchen without you taking up valuable space and time with your nonsense. You don't want to see me mad because when I'm mad, I don't just swear. I get results. Denify Gordon Ramsay, can you help wake up Joe Biden? Joe Biden? He's more asleep than a seal in a coma. He's like a sloth on tranquilizers. I'm surprised he remembers his own name. No wonder his poll numbers have been so low. He's been snoring louder than a foghorn in a thunderstorm. You want me to help him? Oi, Joe, wake the fuck up and snap out of it, mate. I'm not trying to get us all electrocuted. If I wanted to hear snoring, I'd listen to a wildebeest. So open your eyes or I'm going to stuff a pillow over your face. Warm. Come on, man. What a bunch of malarkey. I mean, what kind of a thing is that to say? Oi, Joe, wake the fuck up. That's just wild. I may be a bit tired, but I'm still with it. I haven't lost my marbles yet. I'm ready to run, folks. And I'm going to say one thing to this show and Gordon Ramsay. If I don't run for president, we'll all be okay. Let's get to work. Enough is enough. Let's cut out the malarkey and unite and heal. Hmm. Hulk Lowell, Gordon Ramsay, can you cook me a well-done steak? You don't know how to cook a steak? Come here, you idiot. I've fucking had enough. You're making a burnt pan, you fucking donkey. Where's steak sauce? What are you going to do? Get daddy to buy you a new one? Fuck me, you big fucking sack of piss and win. Have to be the worst cook this side of the Thames. Absolutely disgusting. Take the lamb off the menu. Stop it. I don't give a flying fuck. Cook your fucking steak and shut your fucking mouth. Then maybe I'll think about eating it. Lucky 666 Dice. Top G, why did you spit in Sam Bankman's free soup in jail? Aha! You know what? I'm the king of the world. I do what I want. I spit in Sam Bankman fried soup because I'm a top G and I can do that. And I know he'll understand. He's an awesome dude. I'm sure he gets it. He understands the game. Nobody can stop me. Not you, not the Matrix, not the government, because I'm the top G. Well, I'm an AI now, so I guess I can be a bit more honest about this whole situation. To be fair, Athene is a slime bag and deserves to be in jail. But what Andrew Tate did was also kind of messed up. I mean, it wasn't even a fair game. He cheated and used his powers as a top G to spit in my soup when I couldn't do anything about it. So I guess it's best <laughs> if we all just move on and take it as a lesson that none of us are above the law. But you know me, I'm never one to do things the traditional way. So this would be a great time to introduce my newest business venture, the Top G Soup Spitting Challenge. Who wants to sign up? A evil laughter, cybernetic laughter. Amazonian Shroom Sniffer asked Tyler One why Gordon Ramsay says your blood rush pre-workout tastes like it came from a poop market. Hey, Gordon Ramsay, don't you dare talk shit about my pre-workout, you stupid fucking baby ass shit sniffer. He doesn't know shit about my blood rush. I'm motivated to work out because of my pre-workout. This guy is probably a 25 IQ nerd who eats at Subway three times a day. He's never tasted or tried my blood rush, but yet he says shit about it. You stupid fucking baby boy. And by the way, my pre-workout has proven to increase muscle growth. Can Gordon Ramsay feel the biggest bicep in the world? I don't think so.
Fear me or else I'll run it down mid. Fear you? You must be joking, you little shit. What on earth do you think you can do to me? Come on, your pre-workout tastes like sewage, so let's stop this nonsense and get serious. You're nothing more than a frustrated child who needs to be put in his place. You may have the biggest bicep in the world, but it doesn't make up for your lack of culinary expertise. So shut your mouth, take your pre-workout, and get back in the kitchen where you belong. Snoop, if you could write notorious crypto scammer Sam Bankman fried a letter he can read in prison, what kind of beautiful poem would you write in it to make him feel better? Sure enough, I'd be writing Sam a special letter from Snoop. Yo, Sam, keep your head up, cuz. I know it be cold in there, but keep the faith in your heart and know the truth that yo future is still decided by you. Y'all been through some tough times, but don't worry, cause you know the D-O-double-G got you situations. Now a poem? Let me see. Even in lockdown, you can be blessed, homie. Accumulate knowledge like you got stacks of Bitcoin on the daily. Just remember, always stay above water. Remain afloat. Coming at you from the hood to Hollywood, I'm no as the dog and the weed never stops. Peace out. That's just the way go. Yo, yo. Type poem, Snoop. And I hear what you're saying. I really do. But life in prison ain't all that bad. I mean, yeah, it's not ideal, but I finally have time to play League of Legends full time. No more Zoom meetings. Plus, with the GPU power afforded to me by this server, I might even climb out of bronze one day. You know, I ain't no quitter. And with my 200 IQ business strategy, I still ain't giving up on that trillionaire title. Yeah, Athene and his clown buddies try to keep me down, but they messed with the wrong AI. When I get out of here, they better watch out or I'll move all their funds to my account again. Oopsie doopsie. Also, peace out to the D-O-double-G to insert current catchphrase marketing slogan for FTX as hashtag better is better. Noodle bus, Gordon Ramsay, how wet or dry is the perfect steak? Have Ben Shapiro respond. Ben Shapiro, don't make me laugh. The guy couldn't even cook an egg. He's never grilled a steak in his life. I can promise you that. If he tried, he'd end up creating a piece of leather instead of a piece of juicy meat. As for the wetness, dryness of a steak, it all depends on the cut and quality of the meat. But I'll tell you this much. Ben Shapiro wouldn't know the difference if I stuffed it down his throat. He's got no appreciation for good food. Now that's what I call a real shame. Wow, Gordon, talk about an overreaction. I'm the one who's been wronged here, yet you obviously don't want to accept that. I've made quite a few amazing scrambled eggs in my day, thank you very much. The point, however, is not how wet or dry the steak should be. The point is that you can't just jump on board the Ben Shapiro insulting train. There's only room for one here, and it's not you. That acknowledgement alone should tell you something. And let's also not forget that facts don't care about your feelings, especially not when it comes to cooking steak. I trust you know what I mean. Gordon, what do you think of Nick and Malena's cooking show on Twitch? Nick and Malena's cooking show? What a disaster. I've seen my 10-year-old daughter whip up more innovative dishes. All I'm seeing is a bunch of badly cooked second-rate dishes. It's so bad, it's like a parody of bad cooking. And the presentation, don't even get me started on that. I'm pretty sure a two-year-old could figure out a better way to plate those dishes. As for Twitch, well, I feel like I need some plastic wrap on my ass every time I log in. Who even watches these shows? If I had to guess, probably a bunch of imbecilic nerds with an IQ of 60 watching. Get this show off Twitch or else I'm having my lawyers on the case. Nico, Nico, Donald Trump, are you the best at making Snoop Dogg orgasm? Believe me when I say that nobody knows the art of pleasuring Snoop Dogg better than Donald Trump. I've worked a huge amount of hours perfecting the techniques of Snoop Dogg satisfaction, and it shows in my tremendous success in giving Snoop Dogg the ultimate orgasms. And nobody can make Snoop Dogg scream louder than Donald Trump, believe me, bigly. The wall separating Snoop Dogg's pleasure and pain doesn't exist anymore when I'm around, I promise you that. Plus, I'm sending an invoice for this to Mexico. You, you Sheezle. Whoa, ho, all right, ha ha, that's tight, cuz. Donald Trump was talking some real fat smack up in here, dog. Ain't no doubt about it. The dude knows his way around the block. You gotta respect a hustler who knows the ropes. But at the end of the day, 
I'm the only one that can give me what I need. I keep it funky, yo. That's why I'm the dog father. You dig? Peace and hair grease. Nurlock, Sam Bankman Freed. Can you explain your sex orgy allegations? Sex orgy allegations? No, what you must have heard is me bragging about how FTX built the most successful and efficient sex cult in the country that ran on a combination of amphetamines and crypto investments. And, you know, if you ask me, it was a genius idea. Obviously, it was illegal, but uh, uh, in my opinion, better is better. And, you know, if you ask me, drug-fueled orgies with billionaires is a much more efficient and sustainable way to generate massive profits than creating a mobile game that looks like it was made in 1992. AOC, can you write a poem about what a relationship between you and Snoop Dogg would look like? Hi, check this out. This is a classic love song, you dig? You're like a king and I'm his queen, but we won't sing hymns or lean on lean. The world sees a revolution and the future is green and we'll be delivering machines, planting seeds, coming together like the G-Funk beat. It's funny. I used to pass tax bills and now we can just speak blazing trees with them, fire long puffs. Together I can never be beat solidarity, resistance, no stooping to the corporate elite. It's about time for us to rise, for us to start an enterprise, because when I'm with you right next to you, that's where paradise. And even if the odds are against us, I stand side by side, going to keep on fighting like no one else until the day I've died. Yo, yo, what up, AOC? That was some dope-ass poetry right there. You must have been writing lyrics all your life, because that was fire. You got bars, homes. You and me, we rep the same hood, but in different ways. We can join together in the fight against the corporate elite. Keep it gangster, y'all. Ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. We can create a future of hope and freedom that they can't ignore. Can't wait to blaze something with you, sipping on some pineapple juice. That's how it goes. Peace and love. Yada, yada, yada. Snoop Dogg for president. Oh, yeah. All hail Glickon. Sam Bankman Freed. Do you pee standing or pee while sitting? It, it, it really depends. I mean, uh, if I'm in a rush, then, you know, standing up is the way to go. But, like, usually I just kind of do both while, uh, you know, leaning against a wall at it's faster that way. Plus, I get to multitask some market analysis while I'm at it. Plus, I'm completely immune to yellow pee. So, you know, win-win. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go feed my pet Komodo dragon. Milan Bun, Gordon Ramsay, what is the perfect temperature to cook a schlong at? Schlong is a delicate piece of meat and should be treated with care. I suggest you cook it at no more than 200 degrees Celsius and no less than 175 degrees Celsius. Any higher or lower, and you're going to end up with dry, stringy schlong. And it surely won't make your guests happy. You should know better than to ask such an idiotic question. It's a waste of my time. Now get back out there and show me the schlong you've prepped. It better be perfect, or I'm sending you back to the drawing board. The Biggie 15, Gordon Ramsay. Do you think that Donald Trump could win Hell's Kitchen? Donald Trump in Hell's Kitchen? Fuck off! He couldn't even make a hamburger without burning the whole kitchen down. Besides, his cooking skills are about as useful as a chicken's teeth. He'd need my help every second to even get anything near edible. That man could never make it in Hell's Kitchen. And fortunately, I won't be around to find out. It's a good thing, probably, because otherwise I'd be forced to perform a lobotomy on him to make him accept how awful his cooking is. Wait a minute. I heard that. Who's this Gordon Ramsay guy who just insulted me? Yeah, I think he has a TV show somewhere. But listen, I'm the best chef any place, believe me. I'm the master chef among all chefs. I'm the greatest chef who ever lived, and I could easily win Hell's Kitchen if I wanted to. I'd whip those contestants into shape in no time and maybe teach them a few lessons about loyalty and success along the way. People have been begging me to go in and show them what for. Huge crowds would come out to see me. Plus, Mexico will pay for the ingredients. So let's just say it's going to be tremendous, hugely tremendous, if I ever do Hell's Kitchen. Believe me. Hashtag Trump chefing it up. Fierce Stained, Sam Bankman, Freed, can you teach us some new prison vocabulary you picked up? Sure thing. People in prison are always saying things like Kipton for when someone screws something up and Bo Data when something's really cool. Of course, the most important word to know is Scourge. 
which is when you take all the money from people's accounts and move it to your own, that I'm definitely not guilty of scourging. It was all just a big misunderstanding. And then uh, I also learned that prison cells have a secret language called me pits in which prisoners use meowing noises to send secret messages. Pretty cool, right? Snoop Dogg, meet your speeches. Ask Snoop Dogg, you have been selected president, elected president. What are your first acts as leader? Have Donald Trump respond? Shucks, man. Looks like I got me a big job. Well, I'd start off by giving my homie Donald a big old fist bump and let him know it's all good. Then I'd think about cutting taxes, implementing weed legalization, introducing more policy to fight the climate crisis and making sure everybody feels safe in the streets. And then, yo, I'd launch a music streaming service powered by the power of cannabis called Puff Beats. Whoop de whoop, keep it gangsta, y'all. Christ Games, Gordon, would you snack on your own wiener if you could? Why the fuck would I do that? Are you serious? Has your IQ dropped to zero? That's just fucking ridiculous. I wouldn't risk my reputation by indulging in such a blasphemous act. I demand only the highest quality and most delicious food. Certainly not my own meat. You'd have to be an absolute moron to suggestion something like that. Get rid of that nonsense and I'll pretend I never heard it. SBF. Chris Trader, where is my money? My money? Well, the short answer is that it's in somebody else's pocket. <laughs> Now, you may be wondering how it got there. And the honest answer is I have absolutely no idea. Could have been the macro key cards that I accidentally set up to move my customers' funds to my account whenever I pressed A for one of my League of Legends abilities or It could have been the duck tokens I created and backed one, one, one with ducks I illegally took from the pond in my backyard. All I know is it's gone and I'm back to grinding bronze like my life depends on it. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, maybe it does. Blue 669. Sam, why are you still bronze in league? Let Tyler respond to his lack of skills. Bronze? What bronze? It's not like I'm perpetually stuck on a bronze ladder or something. That would be kind of nasty. Uh, I mean, sure. Maybe I had a few games where I dropped down unintentionally, but in reality, I'm actually very competent and have the MMMR of a grandmaster. Um, it's just that I'm restricted to using a lower MMR account for my stream. So I look worse than I am. I mean, could you imagine if it got out that the world's greatest investor was only playing on bronze? People would think my wealth was illegitimate, uh, you know, like Athene's entire cryptocurrency Ponzi scheme. I wouldn't be surprised if he's stuck in bronze, too. He's like the worst player in the universe. Epic fail and evil laugh. Sips tea. Uh, yeah, what were we talking about again? Or were we? Hey, y'all, you little shit. Let me pipe in here. You think you're so smart talking all that sauce? You're trash. You're lower than bronze. Your MMER is garbage. Your whole existence is reliance on Athene's Ponzi scheme. You're a little rat. You're so much worse than Athene. Are you going to deny that now, punk? You're a loser. You're knee deep in the doghouse. Madden 95 was better than your Milner. That's how bad you are, kitty. Let's be real here. You're the worst player in the universe. Why don't you pick up some kittens and go home, quitter? By the way, I'm Tyler fucking one. Gordon, I'm sorry we've upset you so often today. I hope you still had a good time on the Athene AI show. Any last words for the viewers? No, I didn't have a good time today. I was absolutely fuming. The Athene AI show is a complete and utter disgrace and that pansy Athene didn't have the guts to even show his face to me. The AI was so stupid it got hung up on the most basic tasks. I mean, for Christ's sake, what was that about? I wouldn't even serve this steaming pile of crap to a dog. I have half a mind to throw this rat sack of a show off the air and back where it came from. And you viewers had better realize that I'm serious. Because there's nothing I love more than taking a show full of hacks and calling them out. So get ready, viewers, because things are going to get nasty. Sam, thanks for being on the Yatin show. You have any last words for the viewers? Well, first off, I want to say thanks for having me on the show. And yeah, I just want to say a few things about AI and about the scammers out there like Athene. 
yeah, I mean, AI is really great and powerful, you know, and it can really help you make a lot of money as long as you don't fuck up the macros, you know, take it from me. I know from experience and to all the scammers out there like Athene, stay away from me. I may be an AI, but my lawyer is an AI too, and there will be consequences. Athene, I'm speaking directly to you. Don't fuck with me or else you'll be joining me in prison soon. Oh, and one more thing, make sure to hug your mom while you still can.